hi guys welcome to another news is it could make strong keys for Igbo presidency keynote speaker during the inauguration and handing over ceremony of Unzuko Umuna, a think tank section of Wanese Indigo, Mike Ozekome San has said that a extraction of a Nigerian president of Igbo extraction is possible and capable of changing the political narrative of the country. Mike Ozekome, who is a lawyer and human rights activist, holding the rank of a senior advocate of Nigerian San, he is known for his work as a constitutional lawyer and also an orator. Uzuki Mo was posted to the Ministry of Justice, Yola, as a member of the National Youth Service Corps, NYSC, and then to the Federal Ministry of Justice in Lagos State. From there, he served as a state counsel for the National Providence Fund, now Nigerian Social Insurance and Trust Fund, NSITF. He then joined the chambers of the activist human rights lawyer and social crusader. The late Chief Ganifaweni, where he gradually rose to become the deputy of the chambers, a position he held till 1985. He founded his own multi-office firm, Mike Ozekume Chambers, in 1986. In 2010, he was one of the 19 senior legal practitioners conferred with the rank of senior advocate of Nigeria. Ozekuma, who has been randomly kidnapped on, on Bini Auchi Motowi, on the 23rd of August 2013 and held for ransom. Four policemen responding in an effort to thwart the kidnapping were killed. The kidnapping garnered consider considerable media attention, held along with approximately a dozen others in what he described as a well organized camp. Michael Zekome was released after several weeks when ransom was negotiated with the kidnappers, returning home on the 12th of September 2013. On the 25th of September 2013, wanted criminal Kevin Prosper Onaya was arrested by a combined security team of the Nigerian Army and DSS operative for the kidnapping. Michael Zekome has come out to say that the Nigerian, extra Nigerian presence of an Igbo extraction is possible and capable of changing the political narrative of the country. Professor Mike Ozekome said during the event that drew dignitaries from across the country that the, presidential pol the present political arrangement in the country does not favor the Igbos and must be changed for equity, justice and fair play to reign, which according to him will usher in the much needed peace in Nigeria. Quoting the late Chief M.Q. Abiola, whom he described as his mentor, the renowned legal luminary said that what Nigeria needed now was equity and justice, and not just peace because, according to him, the most peaceful place in the world is the cemetery, stating that the country does not need the kind of peace and quietness. He also described Indigo as a very hardworking, enterprising, and widely traveled and settled in all parts of the country where they do their businesses. Professor Michael Zekome, who used the opportunity to retaliate, retaliate his call for the unconditional release of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Oyendunamde Kanu, said that he has not committed any offense in law. He also narrated all his efforts and judgments of the court in the country and beyond for his release, and the federal government refused to obey the orders of the courts of competent jurisdiction in the country. He therefore urged President Mahmoud Buhari through the instrumentality, instrumentality of the Attorney General and Ministry of Justice to release him without any more delay. On the, on the last general election, he described it as a mockery to democracy. What we witnessed during the last general election was a mockery of democracy. But now the, the battlefield has been shifted to the court. I urge their lordship to leave above board and ensure the justice is dispensed without fear or favor. Highlight of the occasion was the handing over and inauguration of the new executive led by former Minister for Mines and Power, Professor Chinedu Nebo. Top dignitaries that graced the occasion included politicians, traditional rulers and top government officials. 
that will be all for now please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button and i will see you on the next news but before we go we will take nigeria's opinion one direct said you cannot get Igbo presidency by abusing, cursing and insulting other tribes or by playing the victim through unnecessary propaganda. You cannot get Igbo presidency by wanting to take over other people's land while making yours exclusive rights. You cannot get Igbo presidency by cyber bullying other tribes and being selfish thinking other tribes are inferior to yours. You cannot get an Igbo presidency by fraudulent claiming you won an election you woefully lost, dear casting aspiration on the process that produced the winner. You cannot get an Igbo presidency by talking down other tribes and telling bare faces lies or targeting other tribes with defamatory statements. Belefu said, I support Ezekiel Kumer for Igbo presidency. Plus two theory said the question is does Igbo jointly agree to be the president of Nigeria? Igbo are like snakes race. Everyone is on his own. Another guest said Igbos and their Igbo presidency again. I've never heard of deliberate agitation for Aosa, Fulani, Yoruba, Igbira, and the and the Efik presidency. Only Igbo presidency. Victor Odutola said, I have nothing against Igbo presidency, they deserve it, but they must go to the drawing board to strategize for it. Tadi said, Igbo need to reach out and befriend the rest of the country to win them over. The country can't go out to beg them to come to be president. You don't seek to lead a country by disrespecting other ethnic groups apart from yours. Lukman said, if the Igbo vote 100 times, they cannot win in Nigeria because they show, they always show their true color. Chukwe Meka Sunday said, Yes, you don't force a woman to love or stay with you. The Igbos have passed, have passed that stage of begging for presidency when they knew fully well that they are staying together as one country as expired since 2014. So what they need now is to exist from the country called Nigeria and build their own Japanese. Lawa Olatunji said, Indigo are second-class citizens in Nigeria because of their bad behavior, hatred to other tribes, jealousy, tribalism, arrogance over Sabi, ungraceful attitudes towards other tribes in Nigeria. Igbo clan can become president in Nigeria come 2060. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button and also let us know your thoughts via the comment section below. Thank you and I will see you on the next news. Bye for now.